Hello my crafty community. It's Nikki again. Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing our crafty goals collaboration with Amalia. All the other participants are down below in the description box and we have quite a list this year. I'm so happy to be a part. Before I tell you everything or whatever I could get done in August I should say I wanted to show you my stamping. I used a Jane Davenport collection that was gifted to me by April of Oak Oil Designs. I don't know if any of you have seen her channel before. Okay, and it, it, there's obviously a summer beach theme to it, but unfortunately, as we all know, because of the pandemic, there's probably not a lot of beach going going on. Or at least, maybe there shouldn't be, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so, August 1st, we had our Crafty Goals collaboration. August 2nd, we had our August sheet load. And here is the card I created. They were Halloween, and I, so I have one of each. I did the bat, the ghost, and then this little cat. So those are my Halloween cards for the August sheet load. It used 6x6 six six paper, so that was cool. And then my process videos for that sheet load, so you all have 10 minutes. And then Dawn H Creates, there was an August 8th edition of that and unfortunately I missed it because I got a job July 15th and it was pretty all-consuming so I missed that unfortunately and then on the 10th I made Christmas cards using the hope and faith paper I got inspired from Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts and so this is one of the cut aparts, but I used my white gel pen to put stars in the sky. Then 11 on the 11th, or embellishments on the 11th, I'm sorry, I made some the sunflowers with the Hero Arts October 2017 kit. And then I turned around the next upload and did the uh, cards. And then, let's see. I went to my brother's house for his birthday. And then there's just some cute stickers I had for my planning stuff. And here again on the 20, 22nd, I had plans for that, but of course I missed it again. So my apologies to Dawn. And then on the 25th, we did the Smash That Small paper pad again, and I finished up my roses that I couldn't get to the, the month before. This was a leftover from my wedding album. And this was one of those multi... I forgot the name of it, but a stacker dot... Or stacker sentiments that you cut apart with a stacker die. I don't know what I did with the die, but I did have this and then the piece of the rose paper and I embossed this whole piece with the rose embossing folder. I will have a playlist of all these videos that I made these cards with if you're interested. Oh, and then, just the other day, we did the Show Us Your Sheet Load for September, and these are the cards I made, and so I had a, have another process video coming later today, and that will be the last one. So I always do my process videos so you only have 10 minutes after I show the sheet load for the month. Okay, so again, we're going to have 10 on the 10th, 
and then embellishments on the 11th and then I will be making cards with those embellishments and I don't know I haven't planned anything yet for in here but on the 25th I will be highlighting the uh, the fall pad that I got from Amalia's D stash I don't know where I put it at the moment but I do have a picture of it that I'll be glad to put up here so you can see it. And so far, that's it. I did want to go back here and say I did spend a little bit of money in August. And this is what I got. This is glitter paper. Both of these separate packages came in one big package I got from Amazon. out pull out some of it and I like it because it doesn't rub off but I think it's gonna be easier to cut a couple months ago was it that I made those dragonflies and this paper was so hard to cut so we're gonna see how this goes but I have all kinds of great colors I have a lot of Christmas scraps but I don't have a lot of glitter paper so I'm glad I got these. It will probably last me the rest of my life. But <laughs> at least I have it. Okay, so I have two packages of that. And then this is shimmer paper, die cuts with a view, 12 by 12. It's not foil, but it's shimmer. And it's, it's a decent weight. I think these will be good to make 6x6 skatefold cards. Card bases, yeah. So I've got greens and reds for Christmas. Yellow, orange. All, all the rainbow colors. So I think... So that is pretty much on my to-do for Christmas. I did order some stuff from Etsy also to get ready for Christmas. And so I will show you that when I get it. Thank you again for joining me. And please look at all the other participants and see how they met their crafty goals and what they have planned. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.